Bonjour, everyone. Wait, what did Canadian people say? They say A. <laughs> Welcome to Ordinary Adventures. <laughs> You may have seen in one of our last unboxing videos, we unboxed the box and actually, here's the clip. Oh my. <gasps> we got a bunch of Canadian snacks. It's like you knew that there was gonna be no food in the grocery stores because of this pandemic and they, oh my God, okay, sorry, gotta read this. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Snacks, snacks, snacks. That's right, we got tons of Canadian candy, a whole bunch of Canadian stuff that we've never tried before. I'm so beyond excited. I've been waiting. This has just been sitting in our house. Yeah. We're finally gonna get to eat it. I'm sorry, ET, there's no Reese's Pieces here. <laughs> Come with us on this adventure. First of all, thank you to the Flint family. This was like the greatest box ever. Yeah, it also was like the heaviest package we've ever gotten and we were just amazed by all the goodies inside of it. So where do we start? I don't know, I'm so nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I'm gonna pick first and this one caught my eye. It's the Eat More Candy Bar, original dark toffee peanut chew. I like toffee, I like dark chocolate. <laughs> I like eating more, not less. Ooh. It tastes like some kind of like granola bar, or not a granola bar, but some kind of like protein bar. It has that kind of like um, texture to it. Yeah, so immediately I'm turned off. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't dislike it, but it literally just tastes like a protein bar. So eat more, how many Kipras? One. <laughs> I might give it like one and a half Peters. Who ever thought with this candy bar, eat more, that you should eat less of it. But don't take this as us being ungrateful for any of these gifts, yes. but this is just us trying. Americans wow. trying Canadian candy for the first time. So number one was a dud. I'm sorry, I was very excited for that. Let me pick a number two. I'm gonna pick, Okay. I love caramel, I love chocolate. I like Cadbury. Cadbury is mm. a good name in chocolate. I'm guessing this is just chocolate and caramel. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. It reminds me of like a Rolo or like. Caramello? Caramello, there we those. go. That's what it reminds me of. Okay, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. It's exactly what I thought it was gonna be. Very milky, milk chocolate, very chewy and soft caramel. I, I think I'd give this a five out of five. Wow. I love caramel, so this is like, just hits like the right spot for me. It's not caramelly enough for my liking. Probably it's like a three and a half out of five. What? Don't listen to her. If you go to Canada, caramel, that's what you want to get. All right, I'm gonna go with something savory, and I think I'm gonna go with these ketchup chips. I've had ketchup chips before when I went to Toronto for the Toronto Film Festival. I love ketchup chips, but I haven't tried the old Dutch. That's the stuff. It smells like ketchup. I wish you guys could smell this. It doesn't smell just like tomatoes. It, it smells it distinctly smells like ketchup. like ketchup. Okay, cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> these are good. Five. Five? five? Out of five, yep. I think five. So that gets an Ordinary Adventure star. Whoa. You know, everybody that goes to Canada and tries the ketchup chips always loves them. So I wonder why mm. like they've never made their way over to the US. They're so good. You know what I used to do? I used to just like put ketchup. I used to dip tortillas like in ketchup and eat that as a snack sometimes. It's really good. <laughs> Make like a little quesadilla out of that it. That combination only happens when you're like in college and have no money and you're like, I got this and this in the cabinet. Let's see what it makes. Pretty much. Man, I'm jealous. I wish we had these here. I really actually like these a lot. Well, I hear we have some friends in Canada. So if we ever need stash. Yeah, we might need the hookup. You know, call, <laughs> call the flints. <laughs> Let's try one of these arrows. Let's try first the chocolate one. Oh, we have two different ones. And this looks weird. It looks like it has like these bubbles inside it. They weren't kidding with like these little bubbles in here. And their tagline is, feel the bubbles melt. <laughs> really? Yeah, let's see. Where does it say that? Oh, feel the bubbles melt. Okay, oh let's God, feel like, do they yeah. melt? It like starts as hard and it like softens. Mm, that's you know I mean? so strange. It's almost like fudge kind of. It reminds me of like biting into like a dense piece of fudge and it just kind of like melting away in your mouth. It's made by Nestle, but it's like a slightly different kind of flavor than the Nestle in America. 
You know, we should try, they have a green kind over here. Let's try that. Green one is peppermint. Ooh. Does that one also say feel the bubbles in your mouth or whatever? Yes. Say it in, in the French. Fondez pour les boules. <laughs> it almost sounded like Babu Frick there. Right. Babu Frick, can you help us with this? Ooh, I love mint and chocolate. I know that's either like a love hate thing. Oh, it's not. Ooh. Cheers. Arrow mint. It tastes exactly like those dinner mints that they give you at the Olive Garden. That's what it is. And those are amazing, so. I was trying to put my finger on it. I was just like, this does not taste like, like peppermint bark. What yeah. It tastes like that. I'd give this a five out of five. You also a five? Mm-hmm. Gives it, that means it gets an Ordinary Adventure star right mm -hmm. here. Wait, we never rated the milk chocolate one. See, I think I'd give that like a three yeah. out of five. I think we're agreed on that as well. What is this? Nestle Mirage. Whoa, whoa, whoa. This is a real bubbly milk chocolate. Is Does this, that mean it's like the same kind of... Is this trying to compete with the arrow that we just tried? What is with Canadians and them wanting bubbles in their chocolate? I don't know. <laughs> Let us know. Are bubbles like supposed yeah. to be good? Do people think because there's like bubbles, like there's like air bubbles in there, it's like less bad for you? Maybe it is less bad for you because there's less chocolate in it. Canadians always think. I don't really understand why they're selling it in two different kinds of bars. It tastes the same to me. I don't know. This one's more like grab and go. That one's like split and share. Why not call it the same brand? I don't know. Taste the bubbles, Peter. I already tasted the okay. bubbles and I thought they were fine. I, for some reason, <laughs> like this a little bit more. It probably gets like a four out of five. I'm giving it a three out of five. Okay. Let's do Bounty. We're not talking about the, the one that you put in the washing machine. The drying machine? Bounty? Paper towels? Oh, no, that's the paper towels. <laughs> I don't know. We got toilet paper on the brain, you know, yeah. quarantine. It looks like these are kind of like mounds or something. Uh. I love mounds. I love coconut and chocolate combined. You don't? I like mounds over Almond Joy. Almond Joy's got nuts. <laughs> mounds don't. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. Almond Joy got nuts. Mounds don't. They're both gross to me. Cheers. It's not bad, I just, it's not my thing. This is totally my thing. Give it a five out of five, Peters. Wow. It's like a two. I love coconut. And I love coconut with chocolate. Grandma was Italian and she used to make something with chocolate and coconut. I don't know what it was, but it was really good. Is this what it reminds you of? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you could have the rest of mine. I think we need to try these ruffles all dressed. There's a picture of an onion, a bell pepper, vinegar. You're seeking something wow. sweet, salty, and savory in one bag. Whoa! And you love eating chips that will make your taste buds feel like they are going to explode. Oh my god, all in, all at once? It's like Willy Wonka. It looks like a Ruffles potato chip with like some flavor on it. Do you like Ruffles? I love Ruffles. Yeah, I don't love Ruffles because I, like really? I don't like the ridges. You could say, I am a connoisseur of potato chips. So annoying. Like a combination of barbecue. I don't know if you guys in Canada have barbecue chips. This is crazy because like I taste the sweet, I taste the salty. Yeah, it's like an evolution of flavors. I like it. I don't love the the, the ridges on the ruffles, but I think I would give it like a four out of five. <laughs> it's almost like too much. It's like they, they're like, what can we put in potato chip all in one? He's probably gonna five out of five. I like oh, these. Wow. Let's try Mr. Big because that looks interesting. It looks like it has a bunch of stuff in it. It says Mr. Big, it's the original Mr. Big. This is the largest size chocolate bar produced by Cadbury in Canada, which wow. is why it's called Mr. Big. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty big. It's vanilla wafer coated Ooh. in caramel, peanuts, Ooh. and rice crisps. It's weird. You can definitely taste like the rice crispies, like a rice crispy treat, but you can only also taste like the wafer, vanilla wafer mm -hmm. inside. <laughs> all I can taste is all I can taste is the peanuts. Does that mean you don't like it? <laughs> if it didn't have the peanuts, it would be better. Sounds like Mr. Big is the uh, Mr. Big no-no for you. <laughs> I'd give it like a two out of five. Wow, okay, I'm right there with you. Probably gets a two as well. These are called Glossette Raisins. Best ever, it even says on the box. Are they better than Raisinets? I love Raisinets. But do you like Raisinets? I do. Darn, because I was hoping if you didn't like it, I could eat all these. I looked on Wikipedia, and Wikipedia says that these are known as Raisinets in other countries. Oh, they're good. They're not a Raisinette. What's different? 
I don't know, I can't put my finger on it. I'd have to have a box of raisinets to see. I mean, they're not bad though. I actually kind of like them compared to a lot of the other stuff that we ate. Probably like a three and a half out of five. It's like a four out of five for me. Next is, next is this toffee crisp from Nestle. Toffee crisp or coffee crisp? Oh, I love coffee, so win-win. <laughs> Canada, why are you guys so cute? Do you know what the tagline for this is? What? Makes a nice, light snack. <laughs> oh. Oh, that, uh... Ooh, it smells like coffee. It smells like when I wake up in the morning and she's brewed a thing of coffee and brings it into the bedroom. That's what it smells like. The whole room smells like this. Mm, smells good, if you ask me. He doesn't like coffee. I have, I have a feeling. I like coffee ice cream. I have a feeling I'm gonna like that. Cheers. It tastes like, oh my God, you've probably never tried this, but like a chocolate covered espresso bean. I used to love eating those. It tastes exactly like that. I think it's like a three and a half out of five. This gets more like a four and a half, four and a half out of five, but I love coffee. So I guess I'll be eating Yeah, I was gonna say, you could, you could have both of mine. <laughs> Let's open up this. this is, these are called cheesies. I guess they're like- Cheetos? Cheese Cheetos? puffs? Yeah. Cheese balls? They're made with real Canadian cheddar cheese. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. These are good. Yeah, it tastes exactly like a Cheeto. But like thicker. Oh, we're, yeah. we're gonna eat this whole bag for sure. That is delicious. Five, five out of five. five. <laughs> no questions about Adventure it. Ordinary Adventure Star. Woo! I feel like a good palate cleanser will be these Smarties. I've had these before and I love them, so I already know you'd get a five out of five. The first time I ever tried them was in England. So I'm guessing they're the same thing as the ones in England? Maybe. Have you tried them before? Yeah. I like M&M's, right? They also have like different colors than like M&M's. Yeah. It's like a slightly more pastel kind of color. Pastel kind of color? Yeah, like pastel, like pink. Pastel? Pastel? <laughs> pastel? Whatever. Five out of five. Five out of five, Ordinary Adventure Star. I didn't know it was gonna be this tough to eat this much chocolate candy in one go, but okay. So let's go for this creamy toffee thing. Ooh. It's called Macintoshes. It's not a computer, it's a candy bar. I had trouble breaking off this piece for myself. Oh my God, this smells it like really so hard. good. It's boring me, like, is it gonna be like hard? I know, it's gonna like break our teeth. I couldn't even like. Cheers. I like to chew things. Like I get cough drops or whatever, she hates it. Cause I'll like within a minute, like start chewing it. When I was a kid, I used to really love sugar daddies. A big piece of caramel toffee on a stick. That had like more of a flavor to it, I think. This is exactly like it. I'm gonna to give me. this like a two out of five. Peters. Five out of five. We are not agreeing on this one. Okay, next up, we're gonna do the Mars bar. Like, what is a Mars bar? It doesn't even say. I think it's like caramel. Like, like caramel. caramel and chocolate and like nougat or something maybe? Okay, so I just looked this up. There's a British version of the bar that consists of caramel and nougat coated with milk chocolate to resemble the American chocolate bar known as the Milky Way. The American version was discontinued in 2002. So that's the answer of why the Mars bar is in Canada. So this is basically a Milky Way. It's good. I like Milky Way, so. Me too. Why don't you sell it as a Milky Way then? Four out of five. Four out of five. Thumbs up. Not quite a full Ordinary Adventure Star, but almost there. Pick a candy bar, any candy bar. I'll do a magic trick. Okay, put it back in the deck. Thoroughly mix it up, right? No way I can find your candy bar? Is this it? I think so. See, people have been asking me for to do some magic on this channel. There you go. I feel like we have plenty of time now for you to come out with some magic videos for the channel. This one is called a crunchy and it says it's a sponge toffee, which sounds so good. This is from Cadbury too. Yeah. Crunchy. Hmm. There's a, a British candy bar. I think it's called like, it's something crunch too and I love it. So this like looks like it could be almost identical to that. So I looked this up. The crunchy is a honeycomb toffee. Yeah. Known as a sponge toffee. It was available like all over the world, except not in the US. Yeah. I like how all of a sudden you're like Googling everything. Well, I wanna know the, the details. We wanna know the information. We wanna provide some. Uh, I already product. know I'm gonna like this. I, hopefully you don't so I can eat the rest of it. Mm -hmm. This is interesting. It's like almost like a honeycomb, like crunch in the middle. 
So good. Chocolate on the outside is a little bit softer. Mm -hmm. Whoa! Five stars. Oh. <laughs> that made me very happy. So Gets an ordinary adventure star. Wow, you heard it here first. Let's uh, try the Nestle Big Turk. This is a Turkish delight. You open it. You do that while I look it up. On, oh my gosh, on this has turned into like a, <laughs> a Wikipedia adventure. Ooh. It's more like. <gasps> it's purple inside. Wow, that was unexpected. Basically it consists of dark magenta Turkish delight coated with chocolate coating. I don't and it's, know it's what only that made means. in Canada. I don't know. The what stuff this on the side looks almost like a jelly candy of some kind. Smell it. Okay. Cheers. cheers. It tastes like like a solid bar of like if you made it out of like Swedish fish, but out of like a different flavor of Swedish fish. He nailed it with this one. I'm glad because I could not put into words what I thought this tasted like. It almost has like a licorice y kind of taste yeah, to so it. Yeah, so you like licorice. And I like licorice, but that's weird. It's weird. It's weird. I feel like if they were going to sell like some kind of candy bars in Galaxy's Edge, like it should be these. So alien and weird. This, I think, gets a two for creativity and that's about it. I like that this is so very different than everything we've had yeah. thus far. I'd give it like a three out of five. It's so strange. I was Big not truck. expecting that. Let's try that one. Here, you open The it. Wonder Bar. Wonder Bar. Sounds wonderful. This has a chocolate covering and it's filled with caramel and crushed roasted peanuts. It's sold in Canada Ooh. and Germany. You're not a big fan of roasted peanuts. This one, it smelling it, it smelled more like peanut butter, and I do like peanut butter, so cheers. I like caramel. It doesn't have the crud, crunch of a Butterfinger, but it has the flavor of a Butterfinger with caramel. I'd give it like a one out of five. Whoa! I just don't like Butterfingers. For me, I think this probably gets more like a three out of five. I like it, but it's not like my favorite thing ever. You said you've tried a score bar before? Yeah, it looks familiar. It says butter toffee crunch enrobed in rich milk chocolate. It's enrobed. Okay, I, I'm pretty sure I've never tried this before, so cheers. Five out of five, didn't even have to talk. Ordinary Adventure Star. Very flavorful, very, very delicious. Crunchy. Okay, so this one, I haven't had this exact kind, but when I was a kid, when I would get like packed lunches for like school and stuff, uh -huh. I always wanted potato sticks. Like there was these bags of potato sticks. Okay. That was like my like side. But these are called Hostess Hickory Sticks. Is this the same company that makes like the, the cakes and stuff? Hostess? I don't know. Good question. It's basically like potato chips, shredded. You do go get more seasoning because there's more edges. You get more edge, you get more seasoning. But I think- What do you mean there's more edges? When you have a potato chip, it's like this, mm -hmm. and you're only getting the seasoning on that side, that side, and the edges. When you cut it up, you're getting seasoning all around. So you're getting more seasoning than you would on a normal potato chip. Does that make sense? Good to know. I mean, it's just math or science or something. These are great. I like them. I'm going to be enjoying some of those while we're watching uh, YouTube later. Yes. On. I think we don't even have to say it. We This gets a five from both of us. Ordinary right? Adventure Star. Yeah. Right Woo! here. So what did we like? What did we like, we like most? I liked this the caramel milk, which you didn't like. I really loved the Macintosh. You guys remember that? Ooh, that was so good. I loved these ketchup chips. Yeah. The potato sticks. Big, big hit. Everything, honestly... Oh, well, there was a few. Uh, <laughs> if you're from Canada, yeah. please tell us in the comments below, or even if you've gone to Canada and tried some of these, what you think of these, and if there's any other snacks that we didn't try. And something. how do you feel about us like rating and judging these candies? Are you like, oh my gosh, I can't believe <laughs> they gave the Mr. Big a one out of five stars. Yeah, what did we get or, wrong? What did we get right? Yeah. Um, tell us if you want to see more stuff like this, because I know there's like some snack, like you can get like snacks from Japan in a box. Maybe we could get that and like do some reviews yeah, or whatever. Yeah, that'd I'm be just fun. Wondering, like, because we're in quarantine. Like, what are we gonna do? What do you want to see us do? Because we can't go to the parks. We can't, we can't even really go even down go... the street to the park. Yeah, exactly. We can't even. <laughs> we can go to the grocery store. We could pretty much take our dogs for a walk, hang out inside, and that's about it. So yeah. let us know. Well, thank you again to the Fun Family. Yes, thank you. This was epic and amazing. I'm so glad that you sent all this and we're gonna we're be eating this for the next month. Yeah, we're oh. officially like stuffed.
<laughs> We're so full, but like in the best way. If you enjoy watching us eat and rate food, check out this playlist that we made over here. It's all of our foodie adventures. You don't want to miss them. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Are all Canadians like nice? Yes. Every Canadian I know is like super nice. I'm part nice. French Canadian. You are? Yeah. I didn't know. I that. mean, like this much. So, my people, thanks for the snacks.